Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the Kamikaze Show back with Cyberpunk 2077. In this video, V meets Johnny Silverhand biggest fan. Hope you like the video and please enjoy. Hey, hey, V, wait a sec. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening, at least. No, why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. I really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. I'm ready. You ready? Hey. Been in Night City long now? Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay. And be on uh, hey, um, Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old Rainbow Club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. You're not like... Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. After making waves in Tokyo, Sydney, and Paris, their next stop is on your doorstep. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green. Thanks. Schedule. 
Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop? Fucking laser pop? Here? At my stand? I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even try. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Called him a pussy. Told him to stop being one. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help a chew out. I need a quick rundown of samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy, a blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Uh, let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it.
much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to court. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different package. Something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's changed all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. 